They want to destroy Bill Barr because they don't like an attorney general who actually does his job and follows the law and follows the rules. He actually offered more than he should have, and what do they reward him with? A contempt in record time. Their end game is being driven by the hardest of the hard. There are people on liberal outlets that say, don't let Trump off, blah, blah, blah. They're being driven by political elements of the Democratic Party. All right, Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge back on it live in D.C. for the developments from there. Catherine, let's start anew. Good morning. Well, thank you, Bill, and good morning. The president asserted executive privilege over the special counsel records after the Justice Department reported the 11th hour negotiations broke down and they said the House Democrats had forced their hand. The Justice Department issued this statement, highly critical of the Democratic chairman, that reads in part, is deeply disappointing that elected representatives of the American people have chosen to engage in such inappropriate political theatrics. Regrettably, Chairman Nadler's actions have prematurely terminated the accommodation process and forced the president to assert executive privilege. All this is the House Judiciary Committee voted along party lines to send the contempt resolution to House leadership, who will decide whether and when to send the resolution to a full House vote. In a separate development, Fox News confirms that the Republican-led Senate Intelligence Committee that is running a bipartisan Russia investigation has issued a subpoena for Donald Trump Jr. Members are not commenting on the subpoena, but after the president's former personal attorney Michael Cohen came back to the Hill, they indicated that some witnesses should be recalled. The intersection between Cohen and the president's son, Don Jr., is the Trump Moscow real estate project in 2016 and whether those discussions ended before the president became the Republican nominee. For important context, the project never happened and the, Republican, the committee's Republican chairman, Richard Burrs, has said that they found no evidence of a conspiracy between Russian government officials and the campaign. A short time ago in Washington, the Senate committee's ranking Democrat weighed in on his House colleagues and their efforts to call the former White House counsel and the special counsel to testify. The actions of this White House whether it's trying to stymie the congressional investigations or prohibit Mueller from speaking, prohibit McGahn from talking. These are not the actions of an individual who thinks he's in the clear. Just a couple final points. Uh, Chairman Nadler told reporters after the session that he expected uh, the resolution to go to the House. His words were uh, very rapidly. Uh, and, and a final point, which may be important down the road, there was a lot of debate yesterday over the language in the subpoena. And Chairman Nadler said for the first time it did not include what they call 6E, which is the grand jury information. Mm. But Republicans and the Justice Department has said providing that grand jury information has ultimately been, has been the sticking point which prevented their cooperation with the subpoena. Thank you, Catherine.